So the big game goes a little something like this. There's a version of it in the resources tab uh, in the party game section. It's all about, it's like a poem. It's super duper cute. You can do, uh, you can tweak it to fit whatever works for you. Um, so I've got a few bags. We're, you're divided into four sections here, and we're going to play the big game um, to give you an idea of how the big game goes. Okay, so these are the questions. I, give, I started out with the hostess, and I say, we're just going to pass this bag around. Whoever ends up with the bag at the end of the questions wins. Whoever is the winner of the question gets the bag passed to them. They usually look super confused at the beginning, but by then they get it because it's a simple game. So, who has been in the relationship the longest? Who has the smallest feet? Who is the tallest? Who has the most scentsy warmers in their house? Now, those first three questions were simply you could kind of call them like icebreaker questions. They're just trying to get to know you questions. The tallest and the smallest feet are great because people are standing up and measuring against each other. They're measuring their feet. They're moving around, you know, right? Purpose. It's a purpose to this game. Who has the most scentsy wormers in their house is a purpose, too, because I'm, I'm finding out there at my party who is the biggest Scentsy lover? Who loves it so much that they have so many warmers? They're the person to talk to about a party. They're the person to talk to about joining your team. And so this question serves a purpose. Okay, who has the most Scentsy warmers? Then they get the bag. Who was born the furthest from Missoula? That's my hometown. Again, just to get to know you question. Who has lived in Missoula the longest? Who has hosted the most home parties in the last year? This gives you the idea of your party person who likes to have people over, your entertainer, the person you're going to talk to about hosting your next party as well. Who has the most pets? Well, hello, that person needs a room spray, that person needs Scentsy. The first person to shout out their dream spot. This gives you the idea of a traveler, a dream vacation spot. This gives you your traveler on the group, the person who you can share our next incentive trip with which I can't wait to find out what it is. Who has the largest earrings on tonight? Who has the most debit and credit cards in their wallet? Gives you an idea of someone who might need some extra money. Who has the next birthday? Hello, gift ideas from your friends. Share your wish list. Who has the longest hair? Now pass it to the right, and that's the winner of the night. So uh, this is just a fun game. It serves a couple purposes, loosening everybody up, finding out some information in sort of a fun, non-threatening uh, way. And sometimes I do this with a buddy. I'll play a pass the buddy game where I just use the buddy and I say, okay, you know, you're going to pass this buddy around. Whoever ends up with him doesn't get to keep him tonight, but they get this goodie bag and um, you're, you're more than welcome to order your own buddy. I like past the buddy because it gets everybody touching the buddy and fe feeling how soft and smelling, um, and it's just a way to share and introduce product in, because people may not walk up to him on the table and grab him or touch him, and they may be interested in a buddy and not even realize it. So there, there's a twist on the big game. But what do... Uh, oh, and then I also make sure that I have something for everybody, because here's the deal. We play games at the parties for a purpose. We don't want people to leave the party feeling flat. If they just came, ate some food, and ordered stuff, they might go home not feeling like it was the best time they've ever had in their life, and that's not what we want. We want people to go home, like, laughing, that was such a fun time, uh, you know, we got free stuff, and honestly... People are more likely to spend more money when they get free stuff. It's usually, in my experience, the person who gets my grand prize for the night shops the most because they feel so happy. Everybody likes free stuff, seriously. So I make sure that um, everybody goes home with something. I like to give away my discontinued party testers. Again, so cheap and easy. Guests love going through these and smelling them. It's less than half a cube of wax or a cube of wax, but they love it. 
I also play Scent Roulette, where I took um, old bars that I wasn't using anymore, put them in baggies, didn't put the name on because that was going to take too much time, put them in a bag, told the guests they could reach in and pick one cube out, and um, that was their free cube for the night. They could trade it with other guests at the party, but they couldn't go back in and grab another one even if they don't like it. So that's a way for me to get rid of old old bars, old partially used bars of mine. The guests have a blast with it, trading with each other, smelling them, trying to guess what they are. Usually they're discontinued, but I don't spill the beans because they're having so much fun, right? So everyone goes home with something. With samples, samples of any sort are a great little giveaway. Doesn't cost you much, but your guests leave feeling like a million bucks. Um, Depending on your party type that you choose, you might want to tailor your giveaways and your samples to that party type. So in your perfect party, what games did you play? I like to keep a list. I pretty much have a perfect party A and a perfect party B that depending on if it's a party booked from another party and they all have the same type of friends, I don't like doing the same games and giveaways at every single party, but I have a couple options that, I, that I'm comfortable with and that I can kind of switch back and forth in between. I like to write down what I played at the party and then keep this so I know if she books a party next year or in the fall, I know, okay, at her party we played these games, so maybe switch them up a little bit for the fall. And in addition, it helps me keep track to know that I am, in fact, doing enough things at my party to make it fun. So I have my hostess gift. We played the Pass the Bag game. We played the Scentsy Bucks. They got $10 off the order if they for the Scentsy Bucks game. Everyone got an old tester, and I played the hostess booking game, the purse game from the family store as my booking game. So I played three games, and everybody got a party. Or, and everybody got something. So I keep track of that. So those are just some ideas of things that I do to help get orders and um, get customers' information at the parties.